Good morning, everyone. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick, um, I just wanted to share with you guys real quick before I, um, start work. Um, dealing with the Tyre Nichols case. My condolences to the family who experienced this, um, and, and everyone around the world. But I just, I just want everybody to stop and think for one minute. Stop and think. I mean, for me, I have not watched the video. I don't plan on watching the video. I'm not watching any more videos dealing with police, police, like the police brutality, all that, because we have imaginations. We've seen enough, okay? Um, we can, all we have to do is put in the name of somebody that was previously uh, brutally beaten or abused or whatever, assaulted by the police. It's, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have YouTube, we have all these social media outlets and we can Google and see this at any given time. A lot of stuff that I've seen, I wish I could unsee and I'm sure a lot of you wish the same. But I'm just going to address the elephant in the room. I'm going to speak on it and I'm going to go about my business. And I want to express to everyone, discernment is so important. Discernment is key. Understanding the time that we are living in. Understanding that evil is at an all-time high and that the enemy knows his time is short. And we can't walk around delusional and with our, head, our heads in the sand. A lot of people have cognitive dissonance. When your spirit is telling you something, do not override it. I believe discernment is a gift, but I also believe that we have an intuition that is built inside of us naturally because God built us. He created us. We have a natural little alarm that lets us know when something's not right. You, you feel it when people come around. So I want, I want everybody to start understanding how important it is in this day and time. If you don't feel that you can hear, understand, discern, and you want discernment, pray for discernment, pray for wisdom. That's key. But in order to hear God, you got to get quiet. You got to turn off all the social media outlets, turn off all that stuff. And if something inside of you is telling you that this is this, that is that, and something's not right. If you get quiet and you see God, he will give you the answer. He will never leave you hanging. And then out of the mouths of two to three witnesses, he will confirm that thing for you. It's in the Bible. Now, here's my issue. Number one, why I did not watch this video that they put out. Is why do we have a viewing, a timestamp viewing of this man getting beat okay in my spirit what i hold to her the holy spirit say that this is a ritual that these evil powers that be put out here for everybody to see it's a ritual okay you have five black cops brutally be beating this black man okay i believe that this was a sacrifice and that these men had to do this they were i'm trying to think of the word um puppets you guys don't believe in the masonics and these these, these 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 wicked evil fraternities you want to call it not actual fraternities but you you get what i'm saying there's an evil order out there and, and and the enemy is not racist in who he chooses to use black white and indifferent once it messes with people's psyche, once it messes with people's mind, what the enemy sees fit to do has been accomplished. There are people who are sick to their stomach because of what they saw. There are people now who mentally, and, 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 and people nowadays, everybody's having mental issues. So that's why you got to have discernment. Don't even involve yourself. Look at the situation Five black cops brutally kill and beat another black man. These cops were fired right away. No leave, no put on leave, no, it's going to take us six months, a year to go to trial. We got to investigate when, when it was other races 
they 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 had the videos the same way like they had this one. They had a big premiere. It was like a premiere, a world premiere, seven o'clock. Come watch the beating and lynching of a black man by five black men. Six people were sacrificed. Because they chose to do the devil's work, their faces were now put on this bulletin, these five black cops. And I'm going to go as far as to say, call it conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it. How do we know if those are the actual cops that did that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't see the video. But listen, a, a lot of things in the media is bugged out, bro. And I don't believe any and everything they tell me. My prayers go out to this family. You know what I'm saying? But 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 this story and the way things has happened with this situation is so like crazy to me. And yes, we know that America is a very racist country. So I don't doubt that because it was black cops that that's the reason why they was like fire them, blah 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 blah. But what what in the world pushed these five men to beat this one small man like that? What could he have possibly done to them? Come on, people. We got to think. Something not right. Something is not right. Yo, please use your discernment. You know, hear what the Holy Spirit is telling you. And don't allow the media to control your emotions or the way you think. We should absolutely be sad. I have three sons of my own. We should absolutely, you know, that's why we are pushed to fast and pray. So we can see the enemy coming at his onset and cut him off. By the blood of Jesus. But what I'm saying is that something's not right. What would prompt them to do that? I don't care if he was running. So what? If they were black men, they should understand what that young man was feeling at that time. Because I'm sure those black men, and within their time, they have been made, to, if not all five, maybe one or two of them, have been made to feel the same way that Tyre Nichols was feeling at that time. You mean to tell me they couldn't relate? I don't know if it's the police suit that they put on, which draws another spirit into them. Which causes them to want to get violent and, and, and do what? But let me tell you something. It ain't adding up. Something ain't right. And yes, every day we see black on black crime. But something ain't right with that either. There is a root to something. Cause and effect. What is happening? The days are evil. Something, something just ain't right. Something ain't right. And so we have to use our discernment. We have to pray. You don't just watch something because they're putting it out for you to see. You have to understand that the media is out there to control, to program you, to program your thoughts. They want to control how you think, what you think. Why would they choose? It was like a sacrifice. You're airing this all around the world. That's a ritual. It's demonic what they're doing. There is something that they're trying to accomplish. And it's being revved up. Remember they said the doomsday clock is 90 seconds towards midnight. That's their doomsday clock for whatever they have planned. Because I, the God I serve said that we don't know the day or the hour. But these people have had a doomsday clock. Since I can remember, I'm 42, I'll be 43 this year. They've had this, I remember them talking about the doomsday clock in church back in the day. And I was young. Now they done put out there that the doomsday apocalyptic clock is set to 90 minutes towards midnight. Okay, what they got planned? This is why I say fasting and praying is so important. Because I feel like what they got planned is a whole bunch of chaos and mayhem. Because they know that God is coming back for his people. They know that Babylon is about to fall. That's why they got the doomsday clock 90 seconds to, to, towards midnight. Because cause, cause guess what? It's coming. Midnight is coming to them. It's, 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 it's payback time. God is coming back to his people. And they know this. And because they know this, it's a panic. You know how they say misery loves company? There is hell to pay. 
debt is held to pay. Time is up, yes, for them. And time is up for God's children. And then the Persian is going to come. Because there is still a land that flows with milk and honey. And God's people will be restored to what he had for them when he, uh, when he told Pharaoh to let my people go. And when he had Moses usher them out of Egypt. And we do know that America, this place, was the new Egypt. Because of disobedience. I know I'm going off a little bit. But I'm, I'm here to let y'all know. Like come on. Come on. Like y'all gotta. Y'all gotta pray for discernment. It's not. It ain't time to play. It's time to get serious. If you want to be. If you want to be in that number. And we're not talking about in the sweet by and by. If you want to be in that number. For those who know who they are. And whose they are. You understand the codes that I'm speaking in. And if you want to be counted in that number, I know by the grace of God, I pray to be counted in that number. The Bible says, my sheep know my voice, but the voice of a stranger, they shall not follow. You don't got no time for these distractions. All of this is distractions. They want your soul. The battle is for your mind, for your soul. The enemy wants to infiltrate your spirit. And once he got that, it's over. Pray that your 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 that 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 just pray that you'll be you'll be able to be accounted for when that time comes because it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Pray that God will find you worthy. Again, my condolences. This is not to take away from the pain that these people might be feeling. But I need y'all to understand that the picture is so much bigger than what the media is trying to make us focus on. They control us with the nine to five. They control us with the bills. They control us with the food. They control us with all of that. Because we've been so caught up in the matrix for so long. They figure we don't know how to survive without these things, these dopamine hits with these uh, social media accounts. You got to, we, we all got to know how to pull ourselves out of this thing by the grace of God. The Holy Spirit is our helper. At the end of the day, pray that you be found worthy to be in the number because at the end of the day, You got news week and all of this popping up on your phone and this popping up in social media to the point where what you think and what you say is popping up on your algorithm. They watching you. If you order DoorDash, they flashing food across your phone. If you if you like to go party, if you like to do drugs, whatever it is, they're trying to lure us in. We have a choice. God said, I have given you uh, life and death. Blessing and cursing. Choose life so that you and your seed may live. What does that say to you? Especially those of you that have children. Those of us that have children. It's a struggle out here for us. I'm not here to act like I'm perfect. I'm in the struggle with y'all. Iron sharpens iron. I'm trying to pull y'all with me. And I'm, I'm, I'm. And there's other people on here on YouTube that I follow that's helping me. By the grace of God, pray that you found yourself to be worthy of the call. But listen, pray for discernment because God will show you what you need to do. It might be this video. It be a, might, might, might be another video connected to this video because you know the algorithm is real funny. But at the end of the day, I pray and I ask God that he allows these videos, if he sees fit, to reach who it needs to reach. Because at the end of the day, it's none of me and it's all of God. Like, I be struggling to make videos because I don't want to get on here sounding crazy or looking crazy. Because I'm like, God, like, if you don't put the words in my mouth, I don't know what to say. I'm not out here trying to be on these videos or trying to be cute to people. Days, I be like, yo, I can make money on YouTube by, you know what I'm saying, doing video, uh, uh, makeup videos. I could do this. I could do that. Like what yeah i could do that if god put that type of battery in my back and say yeah get on there and do that you know that's gonna be a little extra money for you if god don't say it, i don't want to do it bro because i want to be counted in that number i'm trying to figure out how god because it's so easy we could slip full of field real quick 
But with all this going on, people understand that this is a distraction and we got to use this ermine. We got to pray for wisdom. We got to pray for understanding. And we got to know that just because everybody is doing it, everybody because every, everybody's watching it, just because everybody's talking about it don't mean that we have to be a part because we have to understand what is the distraction? What is it? What's the distraction? So I just wanted to share that with y'all. God bless you all. Pray that you find, pray that God will find you worthy to be in the number. Because it's coming. God bless you all.